सो ही एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू कोड अरिना एंड टुडे वी आर गिन बी मेकिंग दिस फ्रूट जूस वेबसाइट डिजाइन होम पेज इन फिगमा सो या लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट बाई ओपनिंग फिगमा एंड देन क्लिक ऑन द प्लस डिजाइन फाइल विच इज द प्लस आइकन विथ अ ब्लू बैकग्राउंड एंड देन क्लिक योर फ्रेम्स एंड गो टू डेस्क टॉप राइट सो वील डू द सेम firstly we are going to go with this frames this is the frame and then we'll click here desktop okay so finally we got the desktop here we are going to keep here and then uh, the next step that we have is set desktop width as 1600 pixels and height as 3377 right width as 1600 and height as 3377 right so we got the width and we got the height right the next thing that we have to do is we have to set the layout grid and then we have to set it to columns we have to count we have to set the count to 12 we have to set the margin to 100 gutter to 24 right so yeah let's do it right so firstly we are going to click here layout grid and then we'll click here and then we'll go to columns and then we'll set the count to 12 gutter as 24 right basically the layout grid helps us to you know keep the things perfectly right and then the margin should be 100 right so i guess we are completed we have set the layout grid columns count margin and got yeah now what we have to do is we have to go with the gradient background right so let's do that firstly let me show you how the grid actually looks like so this is the grid we are going to put all the things here all the elements here so that you know the website will be a perfect one now what we have to do is we have to go with the background basically this is the background image this is not a linear gradient uh basically this is a linear gradient image but this is not what i have created this is not what i have made manually this is just a random choice so firstly right click in figma go to plugins and then go with grainy gradient i guess and then you have to like download this grainy gradient go to manage plugins like let me show you just right click here go to plugins and go to manage plugins and download this grainy gradient it will download in like 1 minute and then you can randomize whatever gradient you want and then you have to right click here or you have to copy this image right so we are done with the background image right so what we'll do is we'll take this image and put it right here the first step of the home page is completely done which looks exactly like this so this will be the final look of the gradient and the layout grid right so our base is ready now let's move to the step 2 which is very very interesting so basically i generated the logo from bing image creator which really helps you to generate images by text right it is a very good tool so i generated this orange logo from here right so let's put the orange logo so this is the orange logo and i'm going to keep here so i'm completely done with the logo now let's go with the nav bar basically nav bar is like home about you know contact or blog or anything so let's create the nav bar so we have all the information about the nav bar here right so basically in the nav bar the font name is quick sand the font weight is semi bold bold for home right this home will be bold and the others will be semi bold the font size is 22 pixels the font color is black and auto layout was added to okay i'm going to explain everything step by step so first let's fill all these things right so firstly what we'll do is we are going to create a text box here by clicking here and then we are going to write here home so the home is almost ready firstly the home font family is quick sand let's type here quick sand okay the font weight will be bold just for home the font size will be 22 and the font color will black right so we are done with this home now we are going to 
click alt here and then we are gonna duplicate this one two and three times and then we are gonna write here features then menu and then the last one will be contact so I don't want these three to be bold I want these three to be semi bold right and then now you can see these are not placed well so what we can do is we can select all of them and we can set the auto layout here so this is auto layout which really helps us to keep things perfectly and if you don't want it you have to set if you want to set it manually you can click minus here right so we are perfectly done with our nav bar you can see this is the logo this is the nav bar and now we are gonna work on this sign up button let's talk about it so this is the sign up button and what we have to do is this is the rectangle basically first you have to make a rectangle you have to remove the fill and add one stroke thickness and then you have to set the text with the same information as navbar right so we'll duplicate the text so firstly we'll create a rectangle just go with this shapes and click here rectangle make a rectangle set the width as 127 and the height as 50 so this is done and now we are gonna add one stroke thickness and we're gonna remove this fill option and then let's do this corner radius as 10 right so that the corners will be curved right and then we have to duplicate this text right and we're gonna write here sign up this is the rectangle and this is the text we are gonna group them just select both of them by clicking shift and then click ctrl plus g right so this is the sign up group right we have named this so this is the sign up button and then we are gonna keep this sign up button right here so the sign up button is completely ready we are gonna move further to the step 3 of the home page so this is the information of the step 3 we have to create this like you know this title this subtitle and this image ignore these buttons for now right so the first thing that we have to do is generate the text from chat gpt i have generated this title from chat gpt and the image is from google you can find it anywhere or you can or you can generate it from microsoft bing image creator so first let's fill all these information okay so now what we'll do is we are gonna click here to text and then we are gonna write the text that we have created from chat gpt right so let's write the text so i've written this text which is generated from chat gpt and now let's follow the instructions we have to set the font size to 80 pixels right and then you have to set the font color to brown right this is the color code 473525 right with 90 percent of opacity which makes it a little bit lighter and then set the font family to Jost. so this is the font family okay so font color done font family done font weight is still not done we have to set it to bold font size is done and the line height we have to set the line height to 110.5 right and then we'll just do it like this so we are completely done with the heading which is the main title which is the hero title right we have to place it here now let's work on this subtitle so we'll just duplicate this and then we are just gonna go with the text which is generated from chat gpt just copy and paste here so we got like this text and now we'll follow the instructions so the color code will be totally black just go with this with 65 percent of opacity just to make it a little bit gray right and then what we have to do is we have to set the weight to regular which is the font weight we have to set the size to 27 and also set the line height to auto right and then let me keep it here so we are completely done with the title and the subtitle you can find the image from google right here is the image right let me keep it now we are gonna see by hiding the grid layout not removing but hiding it now let's move further and create these buttons moving forward to the step 4 which is the buttons so to create a button first you have to make a rectangle then you have to set the width height color 
corner radius and when it comes to font just go with quicksand that we have created before go with the font weight as semi bold go with the font size at 22 pixels the color of fonts are mentioned here so here i'm making the rectangle i'm gonna set the width as 147 pixels i'm gonna set the height as 67 pixels and the color would be like before we have selected this is the color with 78 percent of opacity you can check the color code here and then go with the corner radius as 10 pixels so our first button background is created let me put here and then the fonts so basically you have to just let me firstly what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this right this is the quick sand only with semi bold with 22 pixels it's completely done i'm just gonna write here view menu so the view menu is done let me keep here we're gonna select this and we'll set it to this white color just to keep it visible so let me keep it in the middle so our view menu button is like created completely done now we'll go with the discount button right so firstly we are gonna group the uh, these two things rectangle and the text right we are gonna name the button right now we are gonna duplicate this by hitting alt and then uh, what we have to do is select this rectangle remove the fill add the stroke to the same color and then set the color to this brown only right this is the brown discount so now we are completely done with the home page which is the logo nav bar sign up title subtitle image and the buttons so i'm gonna group these two buttons also so we are completely done with the home page as you can see uh, you know the step four are completed